Now, when you walk into this office, something that stands out to me, kind of jumps off the wall when you walk in, is this right here. This was my career report at Flying Hills Elementary School in the 1970s uh, in fourth grade. And most kids wrote about being a veterinarian or a firefighter or something like that. I wrote about being an athletics director because of my dad. I was very focused on this at an early age. You've got a samurai sword? Yeah, it's, it's kind of a fake sword. Um, when I was at Mississippi State, my nickname was the Ninja. And, uh -huh. if, and if you look at me, I kind of stick out. I'm probably not a ninja. Um, but I got that when we hired Dan Mullen as the football coach over there. And, and you know, the message boards folks were trying to find where I was. And, and we did a good job of disappearing during that time. What drew you to Tuscaloosa, Alabama? It's Alabama. When I was a young child back in the day, when there would be one college football game on, on Saturdays, uh, I, I remember watching Alabama play and, and seeing Coach Bryant lead the teams out of the, out of the locker room. And even at a young age, I remember, man, that, is, that place is special. What the Crimson Tide, the University of Alabama, uh, represents, the, the passion of the fan base, um, the, the history of, of great success, to have an opportunity just to play a small role in that, it's, a, it's really a dream come true. You got a beautiful workout facility that pretty much connects right to your office. How often are you getting in here? You talk about wanting to, you know, stay in shape and obviously take care of your health. Now I'm getting to the age where I just want to try to stay in as good a shape as I can. With, I, and so I'll commit in about an hour a day. Some cardio. I always jokingly tell our student athletes I'm going to throw away, throw around some Tic Tacs while they're throwing around iron. But do some lifting and try to stay in shape. What's on the uh, What's on the iPhone? What, what do you? Well, we're going to play some of. We're going to play some of it in the truck. We are. Yeah, I'm probably the only athletic director at Alabama that's ever seen Metallica in concert. I've uh, always been a big Leonard Skinner fan. Uh, I was a big fan of Sturgill Simpson before he became big, uh -huh. and now he's big. And Chris Stapleton, and I, I did not know Mr. Brightside before before I came here. I, I hadn't. I'm sure I'd heard the song, but I didn't know. But our our students love it, and and. Uh, I like it too, it's great. Obviously it's an exciting time when it's a home game here in Tuscaloosa. What does that daily routine look like on Saturdays? I'll always meet with the honorary captains here in my office about three hours before kick. Uh, sometimes I'll have some boosters and donors stop by uh, for various reasons. And then uh, a lot of times I actually like to walk to the game. So I'll leave, I'll leave my truck parked here and um, walk down there with, with our fans and talk to them and engage with them and see what's going on. Every single time I take in the Walk of Champions, usually with our guests who are in town. But when the game starts, I actually try to watch it. And, um, and the reason being is if there's ever an issue, something takes place, um, officiating, some type of operational issue, I want to be able to, to see it firsthand so we can help navigate it and make the best decisions that we can. Uh, but it's, it's a full day, and uh, when I get done at the end of the day, I'm, it, I'm usually pretty tired. I almost feel like I've played, even though I certainly haven't. And, uh, but it's, it's a full day, and it's a fun day. You've been part of another national championship. It was incredible to be along for the ride. And, and you know, a number of folks have said, hey, great job on winning the national championship. I said, man, I, I think this chair right here probably had as much to do with it as I did. <laughs> but it was to watch, you know, we talk about the process here and Coach Saban talks about the process. To watch that and get to see that firsthand was very remarkable. Did you ever envision yourself to be the boss of Nick Saban? I always say it's a partnership <laughs> and, uh, and and I want to tell you he's been awesome. Uh, uh, he and Miss Terry both have been so good from a communication standpoint uh, you know and, and watching him as a leader it's pretty remarkable watching the, the, the focus, the discipline, I mean, he's going to not only go down as, as a great college football coach, he's going to go down as one of the greatest coaches of all time of any sport. Hopefully he coaches for another 50 years, but when that time comes that he retires, that we're ready for that as well. On game day, this place is bustling. What is that experience like for you when you see the amount of people, the amount of fans that are drawn to this one attraction on game day? It's um, it, it's special. There's no other way to, to describe it. The, the, the atmosphere, the pageantry, uh, the, the pride uh, that our campus, our, our everybody associated, our student body, our alumni base, our, our fans who didn't go to school here but have, have adopted and embraced the University of Alabama. Um, it, it's very uh, 
it, it, it's, there's no other place like it. Alabama versus Auburn, what sets it apart? What sets it apart is 365 days a year. You are, you are either Alabama or you're Auburn. It's different and the, the passion that's there is not matched anywhere else. And, and so it's something that we embrace. We wanna make sure we do it respectfully and do it the right way. At the same time too, we wanna to beat them in everything we do and we wanna do that for many years to come. I think I had a pretty good understanding of the culture coming in. However, you really don't know it until you get here. Both Regina and I have felt extremely welcomed. And so it's just, it's been, it, it's gone better than I thought it would. Help keep Alabama beautiful by putting the brakes on litter.